twist. So to subtract polynomials, you are going to find the additive inverse. Additive inverse is just a fancy way of saying opposite of the terms behind the subtraction sign and add. And a good example would be if you have a positive 5, the additive inverse of that is a negative 5. Okay? If you have a negative x squared, the positive, I'm sorry, the additive inverse of that is x squared. So all you're doing is taking the opposite. You're going to take the opposite of whatever sign it has. Okay, so here's our first one. Um, the difference between these and the ones we did before is in the other ones we were adding, but we're not adding, we're subtracting, okay? So we have got the polynomial 4a squared minus 7a, I'm sorry, plus 7a minus 12, and we're going to subtract from that the polynomial negative 9a squared minus 6 plus 2a. Okay, now remember when we did this uh, yesterday, we're talking about multiplying through by the negative sign. Remember, if there's a negative sign right here, that's like saying there's a negative 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to write this one out again. 4a squared plus 7a minus 12. Okay, and we're going to multiply through by this negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 9 is positive 9 a squared. Negative 1, here's this one, then negative 1 times negative 6 is positive 6, and negative 1 times positive 2a is negative 2a. Okay? So if you notice, all we did is we took the opposite, right? We changed the subtraction to addition and made the opposite of every sign. This uh, negative sign became positive, this negative sign became positive. And this addition sign became negative. So now all you're going to do is add them like you did in the last couple examples. Okay, so we have 4a squared plus 7a minus 12. And to that we're going to add 9a squared minus 2a plus 6. Okay, again, all we're doing is combining like terms. So 4a squared plus 9a squared gives us 13a squared. 7a minus 2a gives us a positive 5a. And negative 12 plus 6 gives us a negative 6. Okay, so remember, this part right here is exactly what you did in the past. It's this part where you're doing the opposite that's a little bit different, okay? Let's go ahead and do another example. Okay, so here's our first polynomial, x cubed minus 7x plus 4x squared minus 2. And remember, since we've got this negative sign here, all you're going to do is you're going to multiply it through. So you're going to change your minus to a plus. Your positive 2x squared becomes a negative 2x squared. This now becomes a positive 9x, and this now becomes a negative 4, okay? So we're going to take this polynomial, we're going to write it in standard form. So we've got x cubed. The next term is going to be 4x squared. Remember, it goes by degrees, 3 degrees, 2 degrees. Then minus 7x, and then minus 2, okay? Then we're going to go through and we are going to write this polynomial down. We don't have any x cubed terms, but we do have a negative 2x squared. We have a positive 9x, and we have a negative 4. Okay, x cubed just carries down because there's nothing to combine it with. 4x squared minus 2x is going to give you a positive 2x squared. Negative 7x plus 9x is positive 2x, and negative 2 minus 4 gives you a negative 6. Okay? All right, I think we have one more example. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video for a second, and I would like you to write this down and try it on your own. 
Okay, don't forget to find the additive inverse, right? Multiply through by your negative and then combine like terms. So go ahead and pause the video and try it on your own. Oh, I can't spell good luck. Okay, so just pause it and come back and check and see how you did. Alright, so you should have paused the video and tried it. So we're going to start out by doing the additive inverse. Remember, when you're subtracting right here, right, when you do a subtraction sign on the outside, that means it's distributing through to every single term. Okay, and when you multiply something by a negative, remember, all that does is it takes the opposite. If you take 3 times a negative, number, negative 1, is going to be a negative 3. If you have negative 4, and you multiply it by a negative 1, it turns into a positive 4. So that's all we're doing right here. So let's get rid of those arrows. So the negative sign, the subtraction, turns to a positive. The opposite of negative 4y cubed is positive 4y cubed. The opposite of negative y is positive y. And the opposite of a positive 10 is now going to be a negative 10. Okay? So we're going to go and we are going to write down our first polynomial, 3y cubed plus 4y minus 7. Okay? And then our second one is going to be plus 4y cubed plus y minus 10. Okay? And we're just going to go through, add them, combine like terms. 3y cubed plus 4y cubed is 7y cubed. 4y plus y is 5y. And negative 7 minus 10 is going to be negative 17. Okay, hopefully you did that correctly. If you didn't, go back and just, you know, follow our steps. Because what's going to happen is that anything that you're struggling with, you just need to practice. It's like anything else. So if this is difficult for you, that's okay. Practice, 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 and we will work on it in class. All right, guys, uh, hopefully you have all your notes done. Make sure that you fill out the Google form at the bottom of the video and answer the question the way that it's um, asking you to. And have a great night, and we will see you tomorrow.